Welcome to Just Desserts. My name is Renee Smith. And I'm Jamie Hendricks. <laughs> and I changed it up on you, didn't I? Yes, you did. Well, we're going to play another game today. How about another math game? You know, I love my math. And that's my weakest subject, so... Well, this is a great way to play with your kids and help them learn at the same time and help them enjoy math. All right, so what are we doing? We're going to play Pick 6, okay? And again... Everybody has this in their household so that they can play this game. A standard deck of playing cards, or if you happen to have that good old game of Uno, you can use the cards from that as well. Um, we need to take out all of the face cards, if, except, except for the jack, if we're going to play this game with a standard deck of playing cards. So we okay. need, we need um, the aces through jacks, and <clears throat> the, number, the aces are going to be worth ones. The numbered cards two through nine will be twos and through through nine, and the jacks will be zeros if we play with a standard deck. If okay. you play with the Uno cards, they're already numbered zero through nine, so that might make it easier for kids. But either way, uh, you need to take have all four jacks through aces and shuffle them up. And then what we're going to do is, I'm going to go first, because you know how I am, I like to go first. <laughs> but it helps explain it. And I'm going to pick out six cards, hence the name Pick Six. So I have chosen my six cards, and I'm going to take four of those six and make two two-digit numbers. So I can, And the object is to get the highest answer to a multiplication problem. So obviously I'm going to probably throw out my two twos, and keep the 8, the 5, the 4, and the 3 that I've drawn. Okay. Now I've got to make those into two-digit numbers. So I could be, it could be like 85 and 43, or 83, oh, okay. 83 <clears throat> and 54. Because I was trying to add them. Right. But we're, gonna, we're, going to, we're actually going to practice our multiplication okay. in this game. So um, this is for a little bit older kids that need to practice the multiplication facts. Plus, it's actually two-digit multiplication, so that's even higher level. So if I decided that that's how I think I'm going to get the highest total, I would then I would then put 83 times 54 on my, on my sheet, and I would multiply it out, and that would be my total for round one. Okay. And we're going to play five rounds apiece we're gonna, and see who can come up with the highest total so overall. So we need to do my so, six. Yes, but we can actually give you an advantage because we're going to put these back on the bottom of the deck so that eventually we, we might get back to those, and we'll reshuffle. Okay. Okay, so you're going to pick out six. Now, while you're picking out six, I'm going to go ahead and multiply. As I put my arm in cherry pie. In cherry pie. Mm -hmm. It tastes better if you put it in your mouth. <sighs> I need to try that. So I'm going to do... Oof. I'm getting rid of my... What did you... Oh, you had a four and a two? Yes. Ooh, you got, got big cards. Now, do you suppose if you put 98 times 97, you'd get a higher total? Or if you put 99 times 87? Hmm. I think if I do... 98 times 97 will get the highest total. You th I, I think you might be right. So that's what that's I would what that's what do. I probably would have done, but it gives kids the option and some estimation skills to decide how they want to actually arrange those numbers. So let's let's not play all five rounds and let's just say that this is this is our one round that we're going to play and I have a feeling you beat me badly. I got lucky. You got really high cards. That helps. I'm going to check multiplication. Yeah, I know. I'm not going to like, check your math. I'm going to trust you. I need my I'm need pretty your sure, help. I'm pretty sure you know your multiplication facts. Maybe. Oh, wow. You really, you skunked me. Yeah, I got me. over 10,000 here. You skunked me because I didn't even get 5,000. I hope I'm right. But if we did play the five rounds, I might get lucky on the next time and, and draw some of those high cards, and you so, might get some low ones. So it ones. might even out. So it might even out in the end. Um, other ways you can play this is with younger kids. Let's go ahead and put these back in and show okay. a, a variation for younger children. And this uses, this is to practice subtraction because lots of kids are really good at addition, but they have more trouble with subtraction. So this just gives them an option of how to um, practice those subtraction facts. We're still gonna, it's still called pick six. We're still gonna pick six cards. And I will pick out an eight, a nine, a two, a six, a one, and a nine. Mm. And now I'm going to choose four of them, but this time I'm going to do subtraction of two digit, two digit numbers, and I'm going to try to get the closest answer I can to five. 
So I'm giving, now I'm giving you a total that you're trying to shoot for. So now again, they're going to really have to estimate, okay, how can I arrange these numbers? So I'm going to make this a 90 and a 90, because then whatever this is needs to get me close to 5. So I could do an 8, 98 minus 92 would be really close to 5. But even better, 96 minus 91. Then you have And I got five. 5 exactly. See, but I had to do some estimation with mm -hmm. my cards to see which way I wanted to arrange them to get my 5. Okay, your turn. Draw, draw 6. Pick 6. See if you can get five. And remember the jack you drew is a zero. Hmm. Ooh. This isn't looking very Oh the yes thing I you can. can. Do is five minus zero. And what are you gonna put in front to make it exactly five? Because you have to have it's a two digit number. It has to be a two digit number. This? No. Well twenty thirty five minus twenty. Oh, would be 15 I was if, the, if the total was 15 yep, yep. but can you make it so that it could be five Twenty five minus 20 perfect you did it so we tied this on that round good. so we would play five rounds there as well and see how many got closest to five the most often and we both got exactly five so this time we're tied what do you think of pick six pretty fun. I, it, you could do a lot of variations with it too and I like that. I do too. Depending on what your kid needed the most help And with. what skill level they're, they, where they are in math. So thanks for joining us on Just Desserts. Join us again next time for more fun math games. For more information visit mykidsturn.com.